Hey, what's good, YouTube? Mike here with another reaction video. I hope you're doing well. I'm having a great day. Um, I'm just winding down at the end of it. Came from a band practice. Now I'm sipping on a beer. And we're heading down under. That's correct. All the way down to Australia, where we're going to check out John Farnham singing Help live with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Now, uh, I get the impression this is going to be something. Um, I chose this one because it, uh, I saw other reactors react, uh, not other, I saw that singer reacts, reacted to it. And so I was like, all right, that's, that one won't get blocked or, you know, whatever. So, I'm, you know, I'm always thinking like that. But uh, also, I think this one's going to be good. Let's get into it. Here's an oldie but a goodie. I imagine it's the Beatles, the cover of the Beatles song. Yeah. Before he starts singing, that is one of the hardest things to do just to keep like a steady pulse, like with something so simple like that. Am I mic loud enough? Here, I'm going to talk more into it. Also, I think that mu this needs to come up a bit. I don't think it's loud enough. All right. Uh, yeah. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I never. I love crowd singing. Something magical about thousands of people singing something together. Okay, he's got some agility in that voice. And a variety of colors at different in different ranges. Okay, I'm gonna need the guitar here to check high notes. Wow, he's got some serious technique and skill with his voice. Yeah, I imagine the high note is coming up soon. Got to be a high note. Younger than today, I never needed anybody's help. 
But he's in the high sea area, all the way up to high so far. It's beautiful. Pause right there. So, yeah, I thought he was. Uh, maybe he still has a higher note in him, but uh, coming in just uh, from all the chatter about him and stuff, I expected it to be like his high notes that would really stand out. That would be like kind of his thing. But <clears throat> as we go through this, like he's hitting high notes. High E is a high note for sure. Um, but it seems to be his ability to color his notes in several different ways, all up in this high range. And I would guess he's a baritone by his tone. Oops. I always forget about that. Yeah, I would guess he's a baritone. Again with the audience. That's beautiful. Oh, that was a different tone there at the end. Can you do this now? No, right before that. I love that note. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful bluesy inflection bending up to the third like that yeah no and not really getting there still coming in a little flat just to keep that ooh that bluesiness in there Symphony Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. Event. Wow. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, let me get rid of this uh, joker here. Um, no, it's this one. Screencaster. There we go. Can you see Hank? This is Hank right here. Hank, lift your head. Thank you. That's Hank. Um, he's a good boy for doing that. So, um... My point. Yes, okay. So, variety of colors. Totally sounds like he could do anything from opera. 
Probably country. I could see him doing country. So opera, like I hear him when he's, he's able to hit the high notes without raising his larynx, like, which is kind of hard. I don't know. Maybe not for everybody, but most rock singers, I think, tend to raise their larynx a little bit to, to get the projection. But he's able to to keep it down and, and really get power. Uh, but he didn't always do that. So sometimes he like really went into a soft mix. Sometimes he went into like, uh, you know, the growls. Uh, and then that. Uh, so, yeah, I could imagine him, especially from that last bluesy note, I could totally see him being like doing a rock, like probably even a hard rock. Does he ever do hard rock? I could see him doing opera. I could see him doing hard rock. And of course, then there's any kind of, any form of pop in between. I know the song, The Voice, that was a big hit here in Canada. So that, that song I already know. So that's pop. Yeah, I think he could probably do just about anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. If you have anything else to suggest, uh, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear some more of John Farnham. And uh, if you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to throw a yo down in the comments. And also, um, like and subscribe. I forgot to say that in the last couple videos. Stupid. All right. Um, also, like one, uh, sorry, uh, watch one of these videos. This one is going to be me playing something and then this one it's gonna be another reaction video bye oh everything's backwards